Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Hernandez versus Hernandez. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Ms. Hernandez, four years ago, you met and then married your much younger but seemingly perfect man. You say your estranged husband started denying you and your now three-year-old daughter, Liana, only after he found another younger woman. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Hernandez, you claim that during the marriage, you often spent weeks at a time on a fishing boat for work, only to find out upon returning home that your wife had other men in and out of your house while you were at sea. You and your girlfriend are here to prove Liana is not yours. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. All right, so, Ms. Hernandez, how was your husband's denial affecting you and your daughter? It's heartbreaking. Uh, it's hard for me to put my daughter down to sleep. All she does is says, da 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 all day. Aww. How old is she? She's three. She'll be four three. in December. So she's calling for her daddy. Yes. All day, all the time. But the man you believe is his... Her biological father is denying her. Yes. And so what are you telling her? I don't know what to tell her, Your Honor. Do you know that this young child is calling out for you, Mr. Hernandez? No, Your Honor. But you do not believe this is your biological child? Yes, Your Honor. Look at her. Look at your three-year-old daughter that you haven't been there in three years. All right, so pretty much this child is being at least emotionally abandoned. There's some yeah. need that she's calling out for and she's getting no response. Yes, Your Honor. Now, in the court papers, mm -hmm. you say you thought you met the man in your dreams. He was a younger man, but you thought he was the man of your dreams. Yes. How did you all even meet? We... I was at a friend of mine's house. Okay. He comes up about an hour later walking up to my friend's house. Okay, so he came over your friend's house. Yes. And you met him. You yes. all met. Yes. Did you immediately hit it off? Yes. All right. So, Mr. Hernandez, you liked her, she liked you. You yes. all started a relationship. <laughs> yes. Later on, got married. Yes. yes. All two right. Two years. What? Two years later. So, you got married two years later? Yes. All right. So, during this time, you all had a good relationship. How did it all go wrong? I kicked him out after we had a big argument, and then... Two days later, I told him that I was pregnant with my daughter. Mr. Hernandez, what is your account? When we first got together, before she got pregnant, before I found out she was pregnant, I was gone for two weeks. When I come back in, I find out a week later, a family member tells me that she's pregnant. That's not true. I was always out fishing, and that's when I found out so she was pregnant. So when you were pregnant. married, you still worked as a commercial fisherman, and you yes. were out of town a lot. Yes. Well, okay, so you work in a different... Yes. ...place, you come back. What made you doubt? What were you told? I was told that her ex was in the bed. Someone told you her ex was in your bed? Yes. Who? While you're out fishing? Yes. Who told you that? A family member. A family member of yours or hers? Mine. How would they know who I had in my bed? Oh. <laughs> they seen him. Yeah, coming out of the house because you and him are friends. And... And you That's know everything. Not her. That's not you him. You know that he was at my house. It even is not when him. I'm not talking too. about him. So now you believe that he is Liana's biological father because yes, you Liana. believe Miss Hernandez was sleeping with her ex while you were out on this fishing boat. Yes, and she's even told me when we were separated from the house that she had her ex in the bed. Nope. That was she admitted she had she her ex seen... in the bed? Yes, Your Honor. On the phone, she told me that her ex was in the bed. No. It is a lie. So why is your ex even coming in and out of the house, period, while he's at work? He goes there to visit and talk to my mother. I told him, I told my ex, don't come around. I've been hearing that for how many years? Over five years? And so, at the point you inform him you're pregnant, you immediately don't believe this is your biological child, Mr. Hernandez? Yes, Your Honor. So, and you admit that this ex is coming in and out of your house frequently, but you say it's to visit your mother. To visit my mother, yes. Hmm. So... Because my mother is like his mother. So, and he... My ex is young. You like him young, huh? Yes, I do. <laughs> okay. Yes, I do. I know that's right. Say it loud and say it proud. <laughs> As long as they are of age. Yes. Listen, wait, when you tell him, was his um, initial reaction, well, it's not mine, it's your ex's? No, he was happy. Oh, 
Oh, really? He was happy. Were you happy when you found out, Mr. Hernandez? I was happy at first, but then after the pregnancy at the hospital, that is when everything changed. After the birth at the hospital? Yes, Your Honor. What happened at the birth? Two family members came to the hospital and told me that's not my kid. Two family family members members of whom? Her family members, yours? Hers. Hers? Who? Your mother. Your mom, oh because, wait, because my mama doesn't like you. Okay then. <laughs> so you get to the hospital to see the baby you've been excited for and two family members come up and tell you yes. this is not your child. Yes. This is news to me. You just finding out today? Yes. No one in my family have ever told me that or came up to me and told me anything. Lauren Lake here, giving you five seconds to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Five, four, three, two, one. What is interesting to me is, in the court records, we have the birth certificate, and on the birth certificate, Liana does not have Mr. Hernandez's last name. No, she does not. But you do. Yes. He does. But she doesn't. When I was in the hospital after I had her, he wanted me to name her his last name. I didn't want to. Just in case something like this happened, that like, he denied her. There you go. Now that's a first. <laughs> you didn't give your child her father's last name just in case. He says... I'm going to deny her. I don't think this is my biological child. But if you're saying you have absolutely no reason for him to deny her, why would you not give her her father's last name? I didn't want it. Especially... But especially when you have it. I didn't have it at the time. I had my maiden name. We were not married. Okay, so it was before you were married and you... But still... You want her to have your last name. I literally argued with her at the hospital. Mm, No, you didn't. Then why did I was gonna sign the paperwork to do it for you on the birth certificate and you said no? So, Mr. Hernandez, you believe she kept your name off that birth certificate because she knew you weren't the biological father? Yes, Your Honor. Why did you sign it when you knew I had put her last name as Lamont? You shouldn't have signed it. But, Ms. Hernandez, now you've proven his case. (laughs) <laughs> you say you know for certain this is his biological child. You've been in tears because she <clears throat> calls out for her daddy, calls out for her daddy, and he is not there. But you just stated in this courtroom that you didn't give her his last name because just in case, he decided to deny her. Then he said, I argued with you and I said I wanted to sign that birth certificate because I wanted her to have my last name. And now you tell him, well, you shouldn't have signed it then. But he's denying her because he has doubts. He came to the hospital and two of your family members told him he wasn't the That's father. That's not true, though. Your Honor. How do you know it's not true? Did they deny it? Did you confront them and they deny it? I didn't it? know who, who it was. But who if you don't know who it was, how do you know it didn't happen? I don't know. I don't know why he's denying her because she looks exactly like him when he was when she was a baby, and now she looks like me. Do I have blue eyes, blonde hair, and I'm white? No, Your Honor. I am Hispanic, black hair, all that's on me, my side. Where's the blonde hair? My mother had light hair. My aunt had light hair. Okay. Miss Hernandez, Miss Hernandez, let, let, let look. Let me just cut to the chase. Yes. This testimony you are giving right now is, is, is faulty. Mm-hmm. Right? It, it is not adding up to me. And I need answers. I need to understand from you. Is there any other possible father for no. your daughter besides Mr. Hernandez? No. Why are all of these variables surrounding this child's birth so shaky and you and your actions play into his doubt. Not to mention the fact that you are denying that he was told that this child was not his by two of your family members and yet in the next breath admitting you don't know who said it 
You never heard they said it until this moment. How can you deny that something happened that you didn't even know happened? If they would have went up to him and told him this, then they would have came back to me and told me that they said it, but no one came. Okay, so your point is, is if my family had a doubt, so much so that they were gonna walk up to him and say, this is not your child, you believe they would have said to you, this is not his child? Yes, correct. Or do you think they were just telling him this is not your child because you've admitted that some of your family members didn't like him? No, no, Your Honor. Every time we argued, she says that I'm not the father. That's a lie, that is a lie, I never once said that. She is the witness. She heard it on the phone. She's seen it on text messages. Miss Sandoval, what have you heard? I've heard and read messages from her and her herself say, you're not the father. Sign over the rights for the child. No. And I did not the other say day, that. before all this happened, she calls me and tells me to sign over the rights. No, I asked you. Full name to her. So wait, now wait, your child is calling out for her daddy and you say this is her daddy, but you're calling him and telling him to sign over his rights? Yeah, because he, he has... And she's seen the text message. He has, he has okay. not supported his daughter or done anything to be in her life since... Then how what, come like, my... But he's on the birth certificate. Yes. He's so on the birth he is the legal father. Daughter. Yes. So he can get... You can get state order child support. Uh, he's on child support since February, Your, your Honor. Honor. Okay. I haven't gotten a dime. All right, well, he gonna have to start paying. Yes, he is. When I got you a job... You did not get me a job where? I got you a job and you work one day That's and you quit. That's bull. That's bull. I had the job for her. No, she, she worked one day as a cashier and she quit. That's bull. Because she so said she your... didn't have money for the... So uh, your feeling, Mr. Hernandez, is that she was really just with you for you to provide for her. Yes, Your Honor. And she wasn't willing to help support or earn financially in the relationship. Yes, Your Honor. So she you also me... believe that's why she's saying you're the biological father because yes. she knows you're a provider. Yes. She knows I'm making money. I'm working. What I'm, doing. I'm working right now. I'm supporting my daughter and me. So I need your help. Let, let's be clear. If you sign that birth certificate, you do. For the past three years, you've had a legal obligation to take care of Liana. And I have. I don't care if you you think she's yours, she might be yours, she might not be yours. Once you execute that birth certificate and you acknowledge paternity, you are legally responsible. So these arrears that have incurred, they are yours. They are your responsibility. This courtroom is about making sure Liana knows who her biological father is and making sure she's able to be taken care of and provided for. Yep. That's what it's about. And I want you to understand that. No matter what this result is today, you're still on that birth certificate. Mr. Hernandez, do you want to be this child's father or not? What, what, no, what are your, your hopes? For the reason being is because too many stories that I've been hearing is that she's been with her ex, and I'm just tired of it. Ms. Hernandez, what are your hopes? I want her, him to be in her life and support her financially. All right. Mr. Hernandez, if you find out that you are her biological father, will you be in her life? If she is, then yes, I will be. All right. I'm ready to get the results. Jerome? These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. In the case of Hernandez versus Hernandez, when it comes to three-year-old Liana Lamont, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Hernandez, you are the father. Told you. You are the father. I can see that made you emotional. Do you feel a level of remorse and regret because you've pretty much missed three years of her life? Yes. Right. She's talking. She knows her colors. And you never called me. I'm not calling you. No, we're not doing this. What you're not gonna do is do this. Because the problem is, is that in the moment when he finally saw your daughter as his child, his immediate reaction was a level of emotion. I 
asked him, are you feeling a level of regret for not being there? He answered affirmatively, yes. And you could just not allow him the moment to take it in, to soak it in, because it needed to be about you. So now... He is understanding in this moment the mistake he has made. But you have got to understand in this moment the, what you have contributed to this. Because if you really want him to be a part of her life, you've got to make room for him to do that. I do. Right? I do. And part... No, listen, listen. And part of making room for that, Ms. Hernandez, is also taking a pause sometimes. Mm-hmm. Right? Part of, uh, of, of advocating and protecting your daughter means sometimes making room so that her father can be a part of her life without always having to hear your mouth. Right? Now, back to you, Mr. Hernandez. It's time for you to make up for lost time. You've got your... It's your girlfriend? Yes, you Right. So, you all are in a relationship, but now you need to make some time to focus on the relationship with your daughter. Part of co-parenting is understanding that you've got to love your child more than you can't stand your ex. That's... That's it. Because you all aren't getting together... That, that you all aren't getting along too well, and he did this, and she did this, and he did this, and Liana, and I don't want to hear it. <laughs> we have counseling and resources for you both. I want you to take advantage of it. I want you to talk through it. I want you to figure out how to start co-parenting. I want you to work out a schedule. You're already on the birth certificate. You need to start paying. You out on that fishing boat, you catch some extra fish for your child, okay? Yes, all right. I wish you the best of luck. Court is adjourned. Thank you. 